What an exciting day. The official Raspberry Pi OS now offers a 64-bit version of the operating system, as well as the original 32-bit version. Let's all rejoice as now the Raspberry Pi becomes super powerful and all-knowing with the 64-bit architecture with availability now that they're going to get some kind of a performance boost. This is not true. If anything, it might be something very minor. And this is mainly for software compatibility in the future, since a lot of closed source and proprietary software is compiled for the 64-bit with architectures. So you're not going to see some insane performance gains out of the updated Raspberry Pi operating system image. Instead, there might be some minor performance gains since it's going to be using an optimized A64 instruction set, which of course has to use the 64-bit width architecture. These gains won't be noticeable for such things as day-to-day -day use, like web browsing, word processing, so don't look for any special gains across the board. Let's check out the blog post that started it all, Raspberry Pi blog post, where it says Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. Over the last year, they've been trialing out the Raspberry Pi OS in what they call the glorious 64-bit version, and now it's available to the masses. They mentioned that the ARM V8-A architecture encompasses the 64-bit A Arch 64 architecture and is associated with an A64 instruction set, which was first introduced on the Raspberry Pi 3 from 2016. So basically, if you have a Raspberry Pi that's 2016 or older, it will have an architecture with 64, which is compatible with the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit version. It shows us here in this awesome table here, Raspberry Pi 0, 2, and on, so Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, all have the capability of using the 64-bit image. So if you have one of those, why not try upgrading? I hear that there's a few issues with some of the applications on the 64-bit version, but it won't take long for the masses to test things out and get over those bugs. For example, here, Netflix and Disney Plus does not work. You have to revert to the 32-bit versions of these in order to get them working correctly. One of the other reasons they mention that they switched over to the 64-bit is a theoretical limit to how much memory can be addressed with a 32-bit system. Basically, pointers in a 32-bit system can only address around 4 gigabytes of memory, but you can use tricks to extend that amount past the 4 gigs using something that Raspberry Pi already does which is LPAE, also known as Large Physical Address Extension, and comes with some of the newer offerings ex that extend past the bounds of the four gigabytes. So if you had a Raspberry 4 and you had eight gigs of memory, you can still use it in, in a 32-bit width architecture. No big deal. How do you come to that limit? Well, if there are 32 bits, and let's say each bit has a combination of two states, a zero or one, on and off, whatever you like, if we do two to the 32nd power, some four billion odd bits, Divide that out by a bunch of bytes, and guess what? You have four gigabytes. It mentions all that right here if you want to read more about it. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below. What do you think? Does this change the game for Raspberry Pi? I don't think so, but it will help us future-proof the Raspberry Pis. That's why it's exciting, because the older and older these devices get, and the newer and newer software gets, well less and less is going to be made for the 32-bit with architectures. Well, for the most part, that's all I want to talk about. No, this isn't some huge performance gain. Yes, it helps us with future-proofing the Raspberry Pis. And the last thing I want to mention, we can expect that the 32-bit version is going to be alongside the 64-bit version for quite a long time with the Raspberry Pi 64-bit offering. This is because there's plenty of applications that are running in 32-bit that people still want to use on the Raspberry Pi, so why would you get rid of the 32-bit version? But I do see a slow progression into the 64-bit version. Who knows, 5, 10 years from now, maybe the 64-bit Debian-based Raspberry Pi operating system will be the only one available. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Are you excited? Has it revolutionized your setup? Subscribe below if you've made it this far. You're clearly enjoying the talks. If you want to join, I got a Discord as well. Check it out in the description below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.